springtime brings out the brightest green in things. Ladies and gentlemen, please meet Lois Eller. Lois Eller is a talented artist that has authored and illustrated several amazing, award-winning children's books, even some that have been written in Spanish. She grew up in a talented and hands-on crafting family. Her mother was a gifted seamstress that taught her to sew and often gave her pieces of bright fabric to play with. Ellard's father was a wood craftsman that worked from the basement below their house. He also shared extra scraps of lumber and other hardware material with his daughter. Ellert started constructing collages of art from the material her parents gave her. Ellert's parents were very supportive of her artistic interests and even dedicated a card folding table to create her masterpieces on as a child, allowing her to keep it messy as long as she continued with her art projects. Ellert went on to receive formal training at an art college and at the age of 22 she got her first job with an art firm that still represents her today. She would illustrate for other authors, but never felt fulfilled because the words and illustrations would not dance together. Eller went back to college to receive degrees in both English and psychology. Ellert says, I needed those added levels of understanding in order to create my books. It wasn't until her mid-40s that her dream would finally come true, to have a book of my own with my own name. Ellert constructs her masterpieces in several steps. She starts with the art and illustrations, and then she begins to narrate the story. During her production process, she transitions back and forth from the art to the writing until the pictures and words are dancing together. Lewis Eller states that she is also always very conscious of the page layout and style of her picture books. She refers to each book as an experimental adventure, and most of her picture books are centered around nature. Each of her books uses simple measures of art materials. She finds beauty in life's natural resources such as a leaf through an artistic media called collage. Eller enjoys working with paper, fabric, watercolor, texture, tone, and natural objects found outside, also bright colors. Once she gets the right illustration, she begins to cut each piece and glue them on a board. In order to create minimal shadowing without diminishing her vivid colors, she has had to search for talented photographers that can photograph her art. In Red Leaf, Yellow Leaf, the images of leaves, seeds, twigs, roots, and branches are created with paper and some actual parts from a tree. Ellert combines her artistic drawings with paper filled with bright colors, tape, glue, paper clips, fabric, wire, string, ribbons, and other items to fit into her collages so that readers will appreciate her aesthetic representations of nature. In the book Leaf Man, Ellert uses illustrations made from actual fall leaves and die-cut pages on every spread that reveal gorgeous landscape vistas. Here is a playful, whimsical, and evocative book that celebrates the natural world and the rich imaginative life of children. She also experiments with other artistic forms such as two- and three-dimensional imaging made with real-life objects. Snowballs was the first book in which Ellert pursued the use of dimensional imaging through the use of real objects that were glued or wired to the surface. Wagatail is another book in which she demonstrates her use of imaging. The dog's eyes are constructed from buttons that make them look like they're jumping right off the page. Another artistic craft that Lois Ellert's books pose are the series of cutouts on the pages, like in the book Color Zoo. As you turn each page, a different animal cutout is revealed through the layer of pages. She also uses a series of cutouts approach in fish eyes. She wanted to help children learn to count, and by the cutout surrounding the fish's eyes, children can count in three different ways. They can count with the number, the name of the number, or just by putting their finger in the fish's eyes. In her illustration, she wants, she wants students, students to learn something new. Lois Ellert's author skills are quite simple, and she has developed them for young, prevailing readers. Ellert states, there are no set rules to how I choose the subject of my books, other than it must be something that I am really interested in. 
After she finds a topic of, that interests her, she continues by researching the topic so that she can incorporate accuracy into her books. Once she feels knowledgeable in a certain area, her ideas become more concrete. Ellert reasons, I think it just enriches one's life the more you know about the world around you. Ellert's books range in skill level. For young children learning the alphabet, eating the alphabet is a great way to relate real fruits and vegetables to the letters. She starts out with letters such as A with an artichoke and has them in both capital letters and lowercase letters. As you flip through the pages of this book, each page is filled with vibrant colors of fruits and vegetables from A to Z and introduces new items of nutrition to children. Another concept the author incorporates in her books are rhyming patterns such as in Color Farm and Waiting for Wings. For example, in the book Waiting for Wings, Ellert describes the metamorphosis of a gorgeous butterfly. Out in the fields, eggs are hidden from view, clinging to leaves with butterfly glue. Soon, caterpillars hatch. They creep and chew. Each one knows what it must do. Ellert also introduces free verse poetry in Angel Hide and Seek. While it may be too complex for young children, she introduces readers to look for angels in nature. She constructs the shapes of the flowers, leaves, and clouds as angel faces or wings created an angel on flight. Sometimes, Ellert labels items on her illustrations like in Leaf Man, where she labels parts of a leaf. In other books, for instance, Eating the Alphabet, she may have a glossary of terms at the end of the book for more information, and in others, she has included recipes at the end to go along with the book like in her book, Growing Vegetable Soup. With each book by Ellert, always expect new, something new and to learn valuable information. Louise Ellert is a constantly challenging herself with new and improved books aimed at young children and early childhood education. She covers a broad spectrum of genres, but most of her work focuses on contemporary realistic fiction about nature and animals. For instance, in Red Leaf, Yellow Leaf, a small child plants a maple tree and grows along with the tree. This fits in contemporary realistic fiction because the plot is possible. The child is a real person and the setting could be real as well. The tree does not talk and everything seems natural, as in everyday life. She also has created books based on folklore such as Moon Rope, a Peruvian folktale, and Cuckoo, a Mexican folktale which is also offered in English and Spanish. This folktale was influenced from Ellert's travels to Mexico and Peru and has been passed down from generations to generations. Ellert also encompasses folk art in her books like in Moon Rope and Market Day. In the, in the book Market Day, Ellert photographed her own folk art from Central and South America and transformed the photographs into collages. Louise Ellert is a talented artist that challenges herself with every book she writes. She continues to strive for excellence while encouraging children to get out and interact with nature and be creative as well. Louise reports, look, all you need is some colors, scissors, a glue stick, pencil, paper to do something. You don't need to have expensive things around you to make art. You make art with what you have. The spring.